good afternoon guys. I've got myself this OEX Bush Pro Salamander Hoop Bivy. Just, a little, just to say if you go outdoors or watch in the video, uh, you don't put the size and you don't put the weight on it. So it would be helpful if you put that on the video, on the, see the, the page when you're looking at it. But there we go, the OEX Bush, Bush Pro Salamander Hooped Bivy. It's got a nice little bag it comes in. And then it's got the little uh, the clip, kind of roll type uh, waterproof dry sack. So I'm going to set the hook bivy up, we'll see how good it is. There's the actual bivy guys, nice strap, I like that, that's well made. So we've got the pegs and a separate bag and then we've got the pole and a bag as well. So I forgot to say the tent weighs 1.2 kilograms. So there we go, it took me like two minutes to set it up. I'm going to climb inside it now and I'll show you inside the, me inside the bivy. I'm six foot two, so for anybody taller than that, you'll, you'll know. So I'm jumping in. There we go guys, I'm inside that. It's a lot more room than the Dutch Army one. So there we go, that's there we go, that's me inside. The tent. Uh, so we've got airflow. So it shouldn't be that bad for uh, condensation. Tons of room, look. You could just chuck your pack down the bottom there, couldn't you? Tons of room at the side, even for me. So I don't even know what material this is made from. It doesn't even tell you on the on the Go Outdoors site. So if anybody knows, please let me know. It does seem very thick material anyway, so 
who knows so so I'm going to have some lunch this is the outside of the tent I do not know what what the uh, material it's made from it doesn't actually tell you it's not Gore-Tex it seems to be like some kind of material that you would use for a dry bag heavy inside I'll give you a look what, what I mean so it's got the little mesh there and then it's also got that you can open up the, the whole door and you can have uh, the actual separate that mesh part as well look so that's what's inside the tent seems to be a kind of dry bag material I think that'll be fine till they start to crack because I've had dry bags that start cracking so who knows we'll find out won't we I got it for £80 so pole mm. I don't know if the poles I would say were thick enough they don't seem that thick to be honest take a good hammering but find out back parts lifted up with this little uh, part here that's got a metal piece in the back there and it's got a little flap I like that and it's got a little window so and then it's got the pull outs is here as well with the little uh, so you can it's like a tot line, tot line hitch See it? So you can pull it back or you can tighten it So one, two, three, four Five, six, seven, eight pegs Perfect height I do like it But I got it for 88, 82 pounds 80 pounds we'll say So I think it'll be good. I think it will hold the heat on. Just need to see how how good it is with the condensation. But there we go. So I'm on the beach, not camping, just out for the day. As we're not allowed to camp, we're not allowed to stay overnighters, and we're not allowed to travel more than five miles. So from my house to this spot. It's actually five miles exactly <laughs> to this spot well, to the next spot to be honest it's five miles my little spot that I always got to the woods are so this is where I am just at the back back shore nobody on the beach not many but there we go I thank you for watching I'm going to have a little cup of tea, cup of coffee, sorry. I've got one of these little caramel, caramel coffees. Got the brew kit. I've got some. There's insects eating my cucumber. I've got a cucumber, a couple of tomatoes, and I like to put some uh, salt on my tomatoes. My little open air. So. Outkit, 900 mil pot, titanium my pot, Outkit, brew kit, wolf. So I thank you for watching guys, if you could give the video a thumbs up, but most of all, I thank you for watching, thank you.